hi dear students and viewers in this video we are going to discuss about the resolution of vectors resolution of vectors in two dimensional and resolution of vectors in three dimensional along with how the questions will be asked in examination competitive examinations how they will go questions in like neat or m set or j so few of questions in this video i am going dear friends what is resolution of vector all of you know the vector means the physical quantity which is having some magnitude and direction that should be known as a vector for a vector how many components are there what is mean by component so dear students if you are taking any physical quantity in particular plane and that physical quantity should be like a vector that vector can be divided into its number of components simply resolution of vectors means splitting of a vector into two or more that is a resolution of vector clear if a vector is divided into two or more vectors or components if you can combine them again it will use the resultant vector clear then those splitted vectors is called components clear children so already in first year in so many topics we discuss about the resolution of vector if any particular vector is in a particular plane then that particular vector should be divided into components for example here when we take some simple pendulum it is a simple pendulum and now it is the main position it is the main position clear at the main position what we can say the weight is divided into two components so this is the weight and this should be here like this so this is the mg cos theta and it is mg sin theta so here there is only vector that is what weight that should be divided into two components and now in case of pushing a roller or pulling a land roller then also the applied force should be like this in this direction and that force vector should be divided into two components like f cos theta and f sin theta in case of pushing of a roller pushing of a roller so we are sorry it is pulling as yes, pulling the roller so if you can take pushing the roller should be pulled in this direction by that force is in this direction but that force is divided into two components like this so in case of pushing the applied force should be like this we are pushing the roller from behind the roller clear so it is the f cos theta and this is the net force is what f and now it is the f sin theta so what it is taken along the x axis that should be taken as the horizontal component and what it is taken as the vertical that should be taken as vertical component so vertical means y axis horizontal means x axis so in this way the vector what it is given that should be divided into the number of components let's see one by one so the first thing is when the given vector should be in a plane and here we can take x or y it is if it is in a x y plane if they have angle between them is 90 degrees then how we can write the components of the vector clear so the first case case one it is there so x and y have angle is 90 degrees the plane it is we are taking x y plane it is the x y plane clear this is the x axis and this is the y axis clear children now how much angle is there between them 90 degrees is there 90 degrees is there 
in that case how we can write the components let's see so here this is the vector that is the vector for example here now i am saying the vector is r r is equals to r x i r y z what is i unit vector along the x axis what is the j as unit vector along the y axis so here we are taking about only two dimensional it is what in two dimensional two dimensional so here what we are saying this is now vector a and from that vector here we are drawing one line onto the x axis and one should be onto the s y axis so here now this vector will make some angle with the horizontal is what theta clear so this vector a should be divided into two components one is the horizontal component horizontal component that is what ax and number 2 is the vertical component that should be taken as ay clear so here this is the o and this is the a and i am saying now some what are me i am saying if op okay and this is the q and this is the r okay op q r like that so here if you can take this the vector what i am going to say a is equals to axi plus ayz clear if you can take like r is equals to rxy plus ryz same thing again this is what this is the r and this is the here i am saying now o a b like that so we have to draw the one normal line onto the y axis now it is some c o a o b o c so in some textbooks they will give like this equation and in some textbooks should be like this a is equals to axi plus ayj so the thing what are maybe the concept is same so here now if you can take a is equals to axi plus ayj we are taking now here simply from that formula or from that figure what we know from triangle o p q from triangle o p q this is the one from that we are going to write sin theta what we know sin theta sin theta is what right opposite side by hypotenuse from that figure what right sin theta is equals to opposite side this side is opposite to the angle that's why it is the we have to take p q by and hypotenuse is what o q o q so in this case you have to take what it is this qp is parallel to the y axis that's why it should be taken as ay and uh, this is already x axis that's why i'm going to write ax ax from that what right sin theta is equal to p q means what ay clear p q is what ay by and it is what a from that what right ay is equals to a sin theta ay is equals to a sin theta now what right the vertical component is what we are children ay is equals to a sin theta that is you have to remember and next thing is from the same figure you will take cos theta what do right cos theta adjacent side by hypotenuse cos theta what adjacent side by hypotenuse here this is the angle and this is the 90 that's why it is hypotenuse and this is now adjacent side then cos theta is equals to what right mm. a x by a then a x is equals what children a cos theta clear if you can take the vector like r is equals to r x i plus r y z then what do you get r x is equals to r cos theta and r y is equals to r sin theta like that so in this case <coughs> now you have to check 
if you can combine these two what will get again it will use the same vector or not let's check here a is equals to ax plus ayz now here the magnitude what did I mod of a is equals to nothing but what did I children ax square plus ay square now you have to substitute the values of ax and ay then they will use the vector a or not let's check a is equals to under root of ax square plus what a cos theta whole square plus a sin theta ay means what a sin theta whole square then what you get a is equals to under root of a square cos square theta plus a square sin square theta then what you get under root of a square is common then what you get sin square theta plus cos square theta this value equals to 1 what you get a is equals to under root of a square these two are cancelled then what you get a is equals to a so that's why here ax and ay are called components the splitted vectors are components why they are component why we are saying components means while we are combining those two again we will get the same thing clear so and now here when x and y they have some angle 90 degrees so then these components are also called as perpendicular components or orthogonal components clear so this is the resolution of vectors in case of two dimensional so now dear students you have to write the component of this this vector while there is no angle is between 90 equal not equal to 90 degrees in between x and y if the angle is not equal to 90 degrees then how we can write the components let's go for that to know what we discussed if the angle between the x and y is 90 degrees 90 degrees then what we prove for example if it is a vector here how much angle is there 90 degrees is there clear now what we take it again this is the rx and this is the ry so I take it and this is the angle of alpha then what we prove rx is equal to r cos alpha and ry is equal to r sin alpha in that case direction of vector should be taken as tan alpha is equal to ry by rx it's very clear next coming to the point if the angle between x and y is not equal to 90 degrees not equal to the 90 degrees then how we can take so now children this is the x axis and this is the y axis here is not having some angle 90 degrees not equal to the 90 degrees then in that case and the diagonal should be like that so there in that case we can use the law of sign sign law we can use to understand that simply here this is the vector r children we are taking some r is equal to r x i plus r y j and we are talking about the two dimensional okay so here this is the r x and this is the r y clear so the resultant vector r will make some angle with the horizontal is alpha with the vertical is beta clear so here this is the angle alpha should be like this this is the angle alpha and this also here alpha and if you can take this is the beta here it is angle is beta so that's why here we are showing alpha alpha and beta beta so in that triangle we can take OPR so we can apply the sign law for the triangle OPR then what we can write let's see here so r by sin of 180 minus alpha plus beta is equals to rx by so children this is the r sin of 180 minus alpha plus beta why because it is the here like this this is the alpha and this is the beta and if you this total word is 180 then what right 180 minus of alpha plus beta so r by sin of 180 minus alpha plus beta and r is equals to rx for opposite angle is what beta that's why you are right rx by sin beta and similarly here 
for R Y. What did I get? R Y by S R Y center. So all right, sine alpha. So children, this is the you have to use the formula in the when X and Y do not have angles 90 degrees. So from those two children, I am going to write like this. R X by sine of 180 minus alpha plus beta. Sine of 180 minus theta is equals to we will write sine theta children. Like that here, R X R by sine of alpha plus beta we can write. Clear according to that one. And R X by sine beta we are taking these two. From that what write R X means what you write? Cross multiplication. R X is equals to R sine beta by what right? Sine of alpha plus beta. So this is the about the horizontal component Rx and in the same manner we will take here R by sine of R plus beta is equals to this one then we are the <coughs> vertical component then what right R by what it is S sine of alpha plus beta is equals to R by by sine alpha so from those two order children here we can write R y is equal to R sin alpha by sin of alpha plus beta. So dear students, these are the horizontal component and vertical component when there is angle is between x and y is less than 90 degrees or 90, not equal to 90 degrees. So, for example, if alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degrees, if alpha is equal to beta is 90 degrees, then what are children from these two? What rate? R by sin 90 is equal to Rx by sin beta we can write. From the what rate? Rx is equal to R sin beta. Rx is equal to R sin beta. When alpha plus beta is equal to? 90 degrees and in the same manner here vertical component also we can write what is here r y r y is equals to r sin alpha by sin of alpha plus beta what we are saying alpha plus beta is 90 degrees then what again simply here sin 90 degrees that means what R y is equals to R sin alpha. R y is sin R sin alpha. So dear friends here, this is the R x and this is the R y. From those two, what do you write? Tan alpha is equals to R y by R x. Same thing we will get. Should we could here R y is equals to R sin sin alpha. R y means R sin alpha by R x is what here? S R sin alpha by R sin beta that means sin alpha by here sin beta will get or simply alpha is equal to tan inverse of R y by R x we will get. We have to use this formula. So dear students, if the given vector is in three dimensional plane, then how we can write the components and which formulas we are going to use? Let's see. Dear friends, here we are taking the vector r. r is equals to r x i plus r y z plus r z k. r x is the x component, r y is the y component, r z is the z component. So here given vector, this r makes some angle. With x axis, it is making the alpha. Angle is alpha. And R can make the angle sum with Y axis beta like this. And R can make the angle with Z axis is gamma. So first you have to remember that. The given vector, this is the R we are saying. That will make some angle alpha with the X axis, beta with the Y axis and with the Z axis is what? Gamma. 
So then in this case, then in this case, the formulas are going to be written as like this here. So with respect of x axis. So we can write cos alpha is equal to Rx by R. And with respect of y axis, we can write cos beta is equal to Ry by R. And uh, with respect of z axis, the angle it is what cos gamma is equal to what it should be? Rz by R. Rx is equal to what right? Cos alpha into R. Ry is equal to what right? R into cos beta. Rz is equal to what right? R into cos alpha, cos gamma. So what we know, R is equal to Rxi plus Ryz plus Rzk. From that what right? Magnitude of R and root of Rx square, Ry square plus Rz square. So we can write Rx by and root of Rx square plus Ry square plus Rz square. Same thing. And Ry is by and root of S is same thing. Rx square, Ry square plus Rz square. And again Rz by S. Rx square plus Ry square plus Rz square. So children, and this should be taken as L. This should be taken as M and this should be taken as N. Here, L, comma, N, comma, N are called direction cosines. Directions cosine of vector. So, we we'll write element what we call direction cosines of given vector. Please, children. So in this case, what rate? Right? Cos square alpha, cos square beta, cos square gamma is equal to simply here Rx square plus Ry square plus Rz square by again same thing Rx square plus Ry square plus Rz square. Same thing here. Why? Because cos alpha is what? This one Rx square and cos beta Ry square by this value. And cos of what rj square by this value. Then what we get? We get the same value we get. So then what I did simply here. So let's check here. Cos square alpha means what? Rx square by this value. Cos square beta means what? This value. Okay. So finally, you can substitute all those values. You will get the values equals to one. Clear, children. So this is about the components of vectors in the three-dimensional children. You have to remember the formula in problems. These are very, very, very helpful to you. Clear? So by using the directions questions of vector, we have to find out the values in the problems. Okay? Let's see one example problem here. Find the angle that the vector a is equal to 2i plus 3j minus k make it to y-axis. So what you have to find out? One vector is given. We have to find out the angle made by the that particular vector with y-axis. We have to find out. So it is given three-dimensional because here I represents the x-axis, j represents the y-axis, and k represents the z-axis. That's why here that should be like a is equal to a x i plus a y j a z k. First, you have to confirm the vector is in two, dim three dim uh, two dimensional or three dimensional. So, according to the given data, that should be in three dimensional plane. So, in this case, what he was given with y axis, he was asking. That's why here you will write formula is cos beta is equal to a y by a. Clear? Cos beta is equal to what? a y by a. That's why here. So given vector you have to take a is equals to 2i plus 3j minus k. Now we can compare these two. ax i ayz and azk. Here what is ax value is 2, ay value is 3 and az value is minus 1. That's why here what is ay? ay is 3. 
and what is the here a magnitude of a what is the formula of magnitude of a under of ax square plus ay square plus az square then mod of a is equals to here what is ax 2 2 square plus ay is 3 square and a is minus 1 square then what you get mod of a is equals to under of 4 plus 9 plus 1 then what you get 14 you will get so therefore cos beta is equals to cos beta is equals to ay is what 3 3 by under of 14 therefore beta is equals to cos inverse of 3 by root 14 so this is the value must be in the options okay a is equals to 3i plus 4j plus 5k find the magnitude of a and unit vector along a and angles makes made by the a with coordinate axis so unit vector we have to find out at the same time angles made by the a with coordinate axis so dear students so given equation you have to combine where it is in two dimensional or three dimensional so here a is equals to 3i plus 4j plus 5k so you can combine this one with like axi ayz plus azk so then what you get here ax is equals to 3 and ay is equals to 4 and az is equals to 5 this comparison clear so first thing was what you want find the magnitude of a so what is the formula for magnitude of a a is equals to under of ax square plus ay square plus az square clear then what to write under root of 3ax means what 3 square plus ay means what 4 square plus az means what 5 square then what to get here 9 plus 16 plus as yes, what it is 5 square 25 so what you get here 9 plus 16 25 20 plus 25 50 so this will be as root 20 into 25 you can write so here what you get that is root 2 5 or simply what I write 5 root 2 we can write 5 root 2 we can write so this is what magnitude of vector and next thing is what unit vector unit vector is what a cap is equals to a by mod a that is what a value is what 3i plus 4j 3i plus 4j plus 5k by this value is what 5 root 2 this is a unit vector and third portion is what it is angles made by the a with coordinate axis so here i means x axis j means y axis k means z axis so for that here we have to find out the angles with x axis that should make some angle alpha y axis beta and z axis gamma so according to that what right here simply we will write cos alpha cos alpha means with respect of x axis what right ax by a and cos beta cos beta means what along the y axis along the y axis and this is for x axis cos beta is what a y by a and cos gamma is what a z by a so already all values are there you have to substitute a x is what 3 3 by a value is what 5 root 2 clear and next a y by a a y value is what 4 4 by 5 root 2 and cos gamma is what a z 5 by what is 5 by 5 root 2 clear 5 5 cancel then what you get cos gamma is equals to 1 by root 2 so cos gamma is what 1 by 2 means what cos 45 degrees then the gamma is equals what 45 degrees and from the what right cos alpha is equals to what right alpha is equals to we can write so you can take the inverse form and then what right alpha is equals to cos inverse of 3 by 5 root 2 and beta is equals to what cos inverse of 4 by 5 root 2 
and gamma is what cos inverse of you can write 1 by root or secant right then theta is equals to 45 degrees so cos 45 is 1 by root 2 cos inverse cos is cancel then what do you get 45 degrees so these are the angles made by the vector with the x y and z axis find the magnitude of vectors ob and oc if sum of three vectors gives you equals to 0 as shown here below find the magnitude of vectors ob and oc so what do you have to find the magnitude of vectors ob and oc if the sum of three vectors equals to 0 as shown here so this is the children he was given this is the one vector that is what oc was given and uh, it should be like this this is the ob so we have to find out is now ob and oc and further he was given only clue is a is equals to 10 newtons and he was given angle made by the vector in the x-axis so what 45 degrees that is the clue he was given clue he was given very simple now according to the given data the relation of vectors x and y are both are having the angle is 90 degrees and that should be here this is the vector oc and that should make some angle 45 degrees so children I am showing now here this is the OD now and you can draw the as like this this is the OD and you can one arm should be like this OE now this is the angle 45 degrees and this is the angle 45 degrees clear if you can take one more vector should be like this if it is like this here now OD and uh, I am showing this is the B so from that what you have to say OD is equals to OB almost the same ok so again I am going to draw the same thing in that one now we have to find out the OB and OC very simple you can draw the one normal onto the x axis one is onto the y axis so this is the angle how much it is 45 degrees 45 degrees is what I am saying OD and this is the angle is OE clear so from that what right children here from triangle O B C from triangle O D C what right so cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so what it is adjacent is what it is this is the angle opposite this is the OD OD by O C so what right O D is equal to O C cos theta clear this is the first one and next thing is here to retake what it is here from triangle O C E from the quadrant children so sin theta is equals to I am going to write sin theta is equals to O E by O C this is the whole side and this is the hypotenuse so sin theta is equals to O E by O C means what O C sin theta is equals to O E so children he was given one clue what it is some of the values should be equal to 0 that is possible only when OE is equal to OA when it is possible OE is equal to OA what is the given value OE is 10 so therefore OE is equal to 10 newtons clear from that what you write OC sin theta OE means what OC sin theta is equal to 10 we got theta value is what 45 degrees OC sin 45 degrees is equal to 10 then what right? Yes, sin 45 is 1 by root 2. OC is equal to 1 by root 2 is equal to 10. Then OC value is what? 10 root 2. OC value is what? 10 root 2. And next thing is what I I told you OD is equal to OB. That's why here what is OD? OD is equal to OC cos theta. And OD is OC what you have? 10 root 2. 10 root 2 and cos 45 cos 45 then what you get od is equal to 10 root 2 and 1 by root 2 here what you get so what you get something here od is 10 clear of three vectors as shown in figure find the resultant and direction of the three vectors as shown in figure so you have to observe this one there are three vectors i am saying this is the o a is one vector and a b is another vector and c is the another vector now how we can find out the 
resultant direction resultant direction so first we have to check this one how much angle is there this is the angle is how much 45 degrees it is there clear what is the value of resultant one here for this one o a c i am saying o a c so here i am saying this is a ax ay and this is the ax and this is the a from the quadrant children vertical common one road right a y is equals to a sin theta and a x is equals to a cos theta clear a y is equals to a sin theta what is the angle here 45 degrees so a value is what phi root 2 a value is phi root 2 and sin 45 sin 45 degrees then what you can write here simply a y is equals to phi root 2 and sin 45 1 by root 2 then what do you get a y is 5 root 2 root 2 cancel so after that you can take this one 3 meters is in vertical direction so cover so what do you get in with respect of y axis net what do you write a y plus b c that is what 5 plus 3 that is what 8 so in vertical direction what right so this is nothing but 8 we got so simply here i am writing here 5 plus b c with respect of y axis similarly here what right a x is equals to a cos theta and a x is equals to a value is what 5 root 2 and cos 45 cos 45 are the same thing as what you get 1 by root 2 root 2 root 2 cancel then what you get 5 so in this case how many after this a point here a b is 1 meter should be parallel to the x axis so we can add them so what right plus 1 that is what 6 clear therefore what right now here simply can take a y is the what to take here 8 and a x is the 6 you can take then what right result that is what another of a x square plus a y square that means if you can change if adding these two what you get simply here no need to come this here already account diagram what you got 5 root 2 and that is 3 then from that what you get here what is this is the a y a y is what 8 we got a y is 8 and a x what is 6 so now we have to find out this one this is the line one so that's why what right a is equals to another of after modification only we are reading like this okay a x is what here what is 6 6 whole square plus and 8 square that is what under of 36 plus 64 that is what a is equals to root 100 a is equals what root 100 that means what a is 10 so for this one 6 and 8 what do you get a value is 10 so in the given question a result is completed then what about the direction for direction also formula is there what is the formula here tan theta is equals to a y by a x a y by a x then theta is equals to tan inverse of a y by a x a y value what you got 8 by 6 so theta is equals to what is still here theta is equals to tan inverse of 8 by 6 so 2 4 are 2 3 are then what is theta is equals to tan inverse of 4 by 3 so this is about the angle and this is about the resultant one so children if you want to write the notes just pause the video and prepare the notes so dear students if you can understand this one like share comment the video if you are expecting some more videos from me please support my channel then you will get the more videos from my channel and my request is share this information to you and your friends also thank you for watching